what is the number one obstacle for people uh, that are trying to spread the vegan message. This is more or less the same, or it's, it's regarding this, the last question, yeah. but it's, what is the obstacle? I'd say most of the obstacles are within yourself. Um, people tend to ask you the same questions, will come at you with the same um, arg like arguments. Recently I've been getting a lot of, um, you're just as bad as the non-vegans because you eat plants and plants feel and think. Um, yeah, I remember I actually got the same thing from one of my friends and I was like, well, it's still different. <laughs> yeah. With that, what I did is I, I sat down and I watched an hour-long documentary about plants. Uh, the science behind plants, and as of 2011, it's, uh, it's scientifically proven that plants just, they do react with their environment, but you don't have to be a sentient, feeling, thinking, rationalizing being to, to, um, to react with your environment. Lots of interact with the environment. Uh, bacteria and plants react to lots of things through chemical reactions, so there's a difference between something that's screaming and something that is emitting spores to ward off insect predators. It's, it's not the same thing. Um, so, but like I say, the biggest obstacles come from within. It's, at first I was so, I was so like angry um, at myself and at the world around. How had I, how had all these lies been told to me? Um, so getting over that initial anger then led to sort of like impatience. I couldn't understand why other people just didn't want to know what what I'd seen or what I'd you know learned. And so it's just it takes people time to to discover the vegan message in their own way. You know, whatever works for some people won't work for others. What works for you doesn't work for others. That's so important to to um, to get established in your mind very quickly. It will help you if you get that sort of solidified in your head. What works for you doesn't work for others. Hey guys, so that was today's episode of the interview that I had with uh, Joe from the Joe Vegan channel. Uh, you can go and check out his channel here or you can click the link in the description. I absolutely recommend that you do it. Uh, if you want to learn more about veganism, if you're new to it or if you already know veganism if you're a vegan yourself and you want to know some more then check him out he's uh he's a very authentic very uh down-to-earth guy that knows a lot about veganism uh much more than i <laughs> so go and check him out um anyways i really liked today's episode because it gave me a lot of insight on on what he is actually thinking about spreading the vegan message. What is the hardest part about spreading the vegan message? A lot of people think that it's all about the questions that you get as a vegan. Uh, about the, it's, it's about the arguments that people have against you as a vegan. Well, for a lot of people that may be true, that may be the hardest part for you. Uh, but for, for others, it may be the things that you experience inside like Joe Vegan is, Joe Walker is <laughs> saying here, you know, he talks about how he felt so angry, he felt so impatient with other people, he was basically just fed up with, <laughs> with everyone, you know, and um, the thing is that you, this is a process that a lot of people have to go through when they turn vegan. Uh, I can absolutely resonate with how he was feeling because when you turn vegan, there's so many people out there that are, you know, going to see you as a stranger. They're not going to understand you, and that um, can be really hard. It provokes these negative feelings inside you. You might go around thinking like other people are ignorant or whatever, you know. Uh, but then again, if you spread the vegan message, if you start spreading this message, you need to know that there's a lot of people that will agree with you and there's a lot of people that won't agree with you at all. So first of all, just let go of all these negative feelings. That's the first thing and you need to do. And the second thing is just <laughs> don't care about what other people think. The, the message in, its, in itself is the most important part. 
Of course, also as Joe Vegan says, you need to focus more on finding your own personalized way of, of spreading this message, okay? Let go of the negative feelings and focus on how you can develop your, your authentic way of spreading the message. I'm personally, I'm still in this process, but I, I really find so much truth in what Joe is telling me here. Uh, so if you're new to vegan veganism, if you want to spread the message, follow him, <laughs> go and subscribe to him, okay? Uh, yeah, that w that's, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like this video or any of my other videos. If you have any questions or requests, then feel free to share a comment in the comments below and I'll answer you, of course. Um, I also hope that this video got you one step closer towards finding your limitless potential. And I'll, uh, hope, to, I hope to see you guys later, so stay tuned. Bye.